Did you make that? Yes. It's the gift artist sent to a friend. Why do you have it? Oh, he built a message into it. Hey, what's happening, bro? Can't contact you directly, so gotta go with this. <laughs> I hear you guys are making something. Why don't you quit dallying and just do it? Yeah, bro, I understand how you feel. Uh... But you're an artisan. You're supposed to. Right. Are you with me? Okay. Hmm. Artisan is going to help. Artisan is going to do it. Artisan has been misconceived. Nobody has attempted this before, but Artisan has decided to become a human. He invited me to come to Fisherman's Horizon. Artisan is going to go. Good luck. Thank you. Let's just, uh, let's just make sure that's fully wrapped up. It'll be easy to finish since they've done such a fine job already. It's going well. Maybe some other time we were fine. Maybe in a game where you could actually do that. Uh, no. Not this time, Irvine. But, uh, we will pay a visit to the Eldar. You convinced Artisan? Excellent. I only, only your wits could have accomplished it. I was going to offer Artisan this to help. I guess I don't need it anymore. Please take it. Status guard! It may not... They may not finish today, but I believe it will be very soon. Okay! Now we can finally finish up with this side quest. Yay! We're done! Now, uh, let's go on to the meat of this. I will meet you in a minute. Okay, welcome back to the Ragnarok. We're not quite at our destination yet, but the nature of this place is such that, well, it's probably better to show you how we get there. Um, you'll notice that I seem to be going to the middle of nowhere. Uh, that is because I am. But for a very good reason. It, there it is. The old... Uh, the... Rusty old oil platform. Yep, that's what this is, alright. Uh, we're gonna land. Also, we're going to take off Encounter Time Stun, because it will do us no good here. Let's throw on speed. Uh, anything else that I might want? Uh, that stuff looks good. I don't think I need status. Uh, yeah, that's, that should probably be... Well, I'd like to have more bonuses on, but HP plus 80 is really nice. Uh, just FYI. There's five there. There are four there. And there are five there. Okay. I just wanted to make sure my gifts are balanced. I couldn't remember exactly how, how they were arranged. What indeed? I'm not really sure, but... I've heard about a mobile island that was used to gather materials from various regions for research. This could be it. 
have also heard that this thing was in search of a large draw point somewhere. Well, okay then. Looks like it's been abandoned for years. Okay, so I'll just tell you. The trick here is quite simple. Do not move when the light is on. Uh... Yeah. If the light is on, we will get into a random encounter when we move, regardless of whether or not we have encounter types none turned on. Yeah, like that. Don't move when it's glowing. Just don't do it. They yeah, told you right there. The blue light leads to death. Turn back. Don't move when the light is on. You have perceived the resonance. That one seemed extra big. Oh, so you wish to challenge me? It is not our will to fight. We will also have to do a fight every time we get asked a question, uh, whether we get the answer right or not. There is only one, one option on that one, but uh, it gets more complicated. Oh, you know what? I should have brought level up. I could have gotten some good magic from these guys. Oh well. I can still steal from you. Also, Renoa is immune. And has a very low level, so you know, she should be attacking. It would really be preferable if she got the final hit here. But... Preferable, but not important. Ultimately. check how many entry cores I have. I might have gotten enough from the Chocobo world to upgrade Renault's weapon. My gut feeling is that I have not, though. Yeah, so these are like full ruby dragons. Uh, they're actually really good if you need to grind for a lot of the uh, dragon items. Of course, you would need level up and level down to do that fully which I do not currently have. Uh, but I mention this because this sequence is really, it is really easy to just deliberately get questions wrong and spam fighting these dragons. If you absorb fire, then they are not really dangerous. Uh, I, I didn't really think to set myself up for that, mind you, but uh, well, now you know. If you're worried about fighting the ruby dragons, make sure you have fire absorb, and they will heal you as fast as they hurt you. I'm pretty sure I could use Shiva as well. Just so you know. You know what? Actually. Can I turn you into a card? Are you vulnerable to this? Ha! Huh, I guess so. Uh, 
I guess I don't need the- well, no, I do actually need a little bit. Hmm. Unfortunately, I'm not gonna be able to reassign in between battles. Never. NEVER! Uh, yeah, something like that. Back attack? Seriously? Still the middle one. Just turn around, Renoa. Yeah, Irvine, hurry up and steal from the dragon, please, so that I can, uh... Dude. Steal from it so that I can turn it into a card or something. Oh, there we are. This seems faster. <laughs> It's the thing. It has a lot of HP, so this effectively reduces the amount of damage I need to do to it. Even if it does deny me some experience. I'll get plenty later on anyway. Y y you'll see. I will be getting it so quickly. I could also do- well, damn imbeciles. Do Why do you wish to fight for the sake of protecting something? None of your business. Or the hidden third option. This one is a little bit mean. Keeping in mind that if we answer this wrong, we'll have to fight a dragon and then we'll be asked the same question again. It's our, it's our nature. There is no real reason. Maybe we were born only to fight. I see. Interesting. BOSS TIME! But not just any boss! Oh, yes. It is THE dragon. Okay, well, I mean, I was gonna introduce you, Bamut, but, uh... That's very interesting. Uh... So, I can draw Flare and Full Life from Bahamut here. Something which I did not even consider when I did this fight, started this fight, but I probably should have waited until Renault was a couple higher levels, just to guarantee I could draw all this shit. But, uh, I can, so, uh, we are going to stock up on all of it. Like, yeah, right now. Do you want to, like, uh, act- oh. Never fear, I can cast full life! <laughs> uh, that does deal a lot of damage, though. So. That did not look very full to me. Hmm. Hmm. Uh. Okay, we're gonna use Doom Train. We are still going to stock up on all this stuff. It is worth it. It'll also save me a lot of trouble later on to get the full life here instead of later. Hmm. Flare as well for- oh, okay. Uh, please let me finish casting Doom Train Bomb. It'll make it a it'll make it so much easier for me to do the rest of the fight. Cause remember, Doom Train inflicts every status effect in the game. And it has a high percentage chance of doing so. Like if Bahamut is vulnerable to any status effect, Doom Train will inflict it. And Bahamut is vulnerable to at least one status effect. Ch 
Check it out! He's purple now! Oh yeah. I thought he was supposed to count down for this. Hmm. Maybe it's a- oh. Ha. Huh. That, no, she is immune. Use Angelo. Renoa has absorption on every status effect. Because every time I've been going to Shumi Village, I've been drawing more Ultima. And Ultima is really good on the elemental defense. I mean, she has like 1% absorption, but she has absorption on every status. That is not the Angelo command that I wanted, to be honest. Uh. You guys need to keep drawing full life. You... I would really like to be invulnerable right now. No! Stop hurting Bahamut! I haven't even drawn Flare from him yet! Renoa. Renoa, come on. Okay. You're gonna be like that. I don't really want to risk it. Uh, but I will... I'll just spam Kuraga until I've filled up my HP so that I can survive a Mega Flare. Just, you know, it, it hits, like, really damn hard. Uh... Actually, Squall may not be able to survive the Mega Flare, truth be told, but I think Renoa will be fine. Actually, I know Renoa will be fine, she survived the first one. Irvine... maybe. No, draw full life. You are not fully stocked yet. Runo isn't either, but she at least has full life. She's further ahead than you or Squall, Irvine. So, uh, yeah, we have devolved into the standard boss strategy of just trying to drop him in. But I guess with the unique twist where Bombard is genuinely quite dangerous. <laughs> Mega Flare hits hard. And Renoa was no help with, uh, locking that one down. Like, being invincible for a little while would have been nice. Although, to be fair, I would not have been able to heal while invincible. That is something to keep in mind. Oh hey! Squall is full on full life. Time to start out on flare! Odd that he hasn't done anything for a while. I assume he is charging, uh, Mega Flare? That- that seems like a reasonable assumption. It seems odd that it doesn't give you any cue though, like, most Final Fantasies, Bahamut at least has the courtesy of counting down when he's gonna use Mega Flare. He, he doesn't just wait around doing nothing. He- or rather, he tells you when he's waiting around doing nothing. Uh, it, he's quite deliberate about it. Gonna need to 
do a few pot shots of Veervine as well to make sure that I stolen from him. I don't know what I can steal from him. It's probably something good though. Hmm. Hmm. Well, anyway, uh, seriously though, are you gonna do something? Because I feel like this is being too long. Volume, it just. Well, there's Thundaga. Not really what I had in mind. I guess I shouldn't complain that he's gonna just sit there and take it, but it does feel very odd. Do you know? Yeah. Yeah, you know. Man, though, that flare. That, oh, I think Renault is done. Yep, she is. Hmm. Well, I mean, they aren't. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's nice when you miss. I'm pretty sure the only thing I actually inflicted him with was Vitality and Nothing, but... The one thing that every enemy in the game is, we is vulnerable to, up to and including the final boss. Although the final boss absorbs poison, so you know, you need to watch out for that, but uh... It's still vulnerable to Vitality none. Vitality zero! Really. Vit zero. Yeah. Same. It is literally the same. Okay, Squall is done! We just need you, Irvine. We're just waiting on you. Okay, there's the Mega Flare. I assume that this is going to kill someone. Probably Squall. Oh no! Squall survived! He lives! Hmm. I kind of want to keep Squall's HP low so that I can limit break. But I do need to keep in mind that I am going to need to still hit him with uh, Irvine once first. Oh hey! Speaking of, looks like he's done with the flare thing. Again? Okay, well now the Squall is definitely gonna die, so... Yeah, too late. That was a quick Mega Flare, though. Hmm. Scary. Draw, Kiraga, Renoa, Renoa, Kiraga. Kiravine, who is gonna use Mug? I guess no Squall Limit Break then. It would have been cool, but... Oh well... Hmm... We got a thing! Also, that little difference is probably enough to kill Squall. So, let's, uh, let's top him off. Kill him with a Mega Flare, that is. Speaking of... Well, now we can use Limit Breaks. Yeah, uh, you heal yourself. No, give me... There we are. Bahamut has a special triggering animation, which is pretty cool. 
I think we'll go with AP ammo, since I can sort of trivially manufacture more. Okay, and he's dead. You're fine. Okay, so if you have a high enough attack power squall, it has the best limit break. But everybody's limit break is still seriously amazing. And also, we did it! We beat Ball Moot! And we got his card! And we got a ton of AP, which is probably misspent because of the Ruby Dragons. But hey, we got him. We did it! Another path to your destiny awaits! You are indeed an interesting one. Brimming with passion. So, let's take a really quick look at Bahamut. Uh, then we will... Yeah, it doesn't really do much to Squall, does it? But hey, four ability slots! That's pretty cool. Also, we don't have it yet. <laughs> Auto ref no, I actually don't want auto reflect. I might throw on ribbon though. Mm. Or I could throw on more HP. Yeah, we'll go with that one. So uh let's just uh take a quick look through these. That's probably the only thing left. It is You can learn that. Which is probably not worthwhile, but we'll do it anyway. That's Yep, okay. You... I mean, probably don't have anything better to do, but we'll do that one first anyway. Uh, you can definitely do... well, again, asterisk on that statement, but uh... That one seems fine. That one definitely seems fine. Almost got it, even. Uh, that one is not fine. State it. Also, elemental attack, I don't think. R Renoa has that, but I'll revive would be... Re I want revive. Revive is pretty good. Doom Train! Still working on forbidden, ma forbidden medicine, actually. Uh... And Vomut! Well, I want rare item, but... Oh, hey. Cool. I want rare item, but also I'm gonna want Mug pretty quickly. Oh, and I wasn't actually done. Evasion and Auto Potion. Okay, those seem good. So, as long as we're here, why don't we take a look what we can make with Forbidden Magic Refinement. We can make Meteor, we can make Ultima. Uh, interesting. So I have four Dark Matters. Hmm. You're already at 61. I don't really want to waste the dark matter on on that. Excuse me. I only have four of these, though. Hmm. Maybe we'll think about that one a little bit. But, uh, we'll, we'll do that next time. So, as for next time, uh, we will be diving deeper into the Deep Sea Research Facility, which is the name of the thing we're in right now, incidentally. Uh, yeah, that should be fine. Until then, this has been Let's Play Final Fantasy VIII with Chaos Blue, and have a great day. Bye!